you can see is we had a huge pressure crack here yesterday. You know, it got up to about uh, close to 56 degrees when it had been about zero and it created this huge pressure crack. So we gotta be careful going across with some of the snowmobiles. This pressure crack is up to about four feet tall in some areas here. It's, it's, it's insane how big the crack really is. Look at this thing. This all happened yesterday. You even got cars out there on the ice and uh, a lot of slush here. So we're gonna go through, and just make sure we're careful doing it. So we got the snowmobiles over the uh, pressure crack and through the water. Now we got to take a couple mile run to uh, where we're going fishing. Right? Is it a brown? I, I wonder if I got, I wonder if we got all three of them. Oh yeah, there it is, I see the fish. Good decent? I don't know. Oh yeah. The Lakers. Yep. That's a splake. Splaker. Yep. Yeah, we just had uh, three flags go up at the same time. I think we got into the other tip up. It's a nice plate. Got them on a live chartreuse shiner. And we might have another fish on back behind us. We'll have to check it out, but that's a plate cross between a brook trout and a lake trout. And uh, as far as plate goes, it's a pretty decent fish. There we go. Just set this one up with a live minnow. Is there another, another splake? Yeah, I don't think it's not big. Get close. There he is. Nice. Splake. Is there fish on there? You're not gonna believe this, but I think your splake just found his way back into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I think it's gone. That's the smartest splake you ever seen in your life. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, there's another splake! What the hell? There's another splake! <laughs> Can you believe it? Unbelievable. That's great. Boy, it's a fat one. No way. That's a fat one. That is just crazy. Three flags up. All three lines tangled. We got one splake out of the hole. I had the far tip up tangled in this one. And uh, we pulled this, this splake out too. Fat little fish. Here we go. I think we'll let this one go. Nice fish. And off she goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, Nice yeah. Nice brown. Yes. Neat dog. Nice brown. Yeah, boy. Nice brown. We've been here about 15 minutes. He hit a hit a Zimmer spoon with a chartreuse chartreuse head on it. Brought him up about 14, 15 feet off the bottom. He just chased it up and hammered it. 
Nice brown. Is he still down there, Tom? Oh, yeah, he's right at the bottom of the hole here. There he is. You see him? Yeah, he's coming up, little guy. Oh, Splake? Splake. Right on. Oh, we lost our minnow. We lost oh, the chartreuse. Got there he is. Plastic too. Little fella, but it's a fish. Yeah. We had two of them come in on the, the aqua view there. Today's episode of Potsky Outdoors comes to you from northern Wisconsin. We're based out of Ashland right now, uh, roughly about an hour from Duluth. It's just an area that most people are more familiar with. Now, one of the things to consider is before we came out here, uh, the week prior to us trying to film, they had excellent fishing. And by excellent, I mean uh, Nate and his group of guys were catching, you know, five to ten pound browns pretty consistently. Uh, and then luckily, or unluckily I would call it, when we got there, the bite kind of changed a little bit. You know, things moved from bigger fish to fewer bites and smaller fish. You know, we caught a few nice splake, uh, but that kind of uh, mirrored most of our trip. However, one of the things we're most excited about is sometimes it's not just about the fishing. Uh, we're fortunate to have Nate show us some of the most amazing areas in all of the country. Uh, and by that I mean, you know, we started out the day and, and he showed us the Bayfield Ice Road, uh, which goes from Bayfield to Madeline Island. It's one of the most beautiful areas ever. And uh, it's one of those areas where, think about it, the ice, the ice road doesn't happen every single year. So we are fortunate to be there during a time uh, when we were able to see some awesome areas. We also were able to take the snowmobiles out uh, and after driving our way uh, across the ice road and, and parking in front of Madeline Island, we went as far as we could where we saw the ice was, was uh, uh, thick enough for travel on vehicle. And then we got on snowmobiles uh, and we basically went up and down some of the most beautiful areas. You'll see Oak Island and then you'll see that we ended up in the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. And it's one of the most beautiful places. And you keep hearing me say the word beautiful. This is some of the most beautiful country in the world. Now, all of the fishing was done, you know, through the ice. Uh, and we did it two ways. One of them was just fire dye minnows. Uh, and you can see the chartreuse boy, does it stand out on the hole? It's, it's pretty amazing. And then one of our guys, did a lot of jigging. Uh, he had a little bit, a uh, little bit of jig sometimes. Uh, you know, he had some spoons. He had other things, and he tipped those with those chartreuse fire dye minnows. Uh, and it really did a good job at, at, at drawing in fish. You know, those vibrant colors uh, do a lot of work. But all in all, we had one of the most amazing times fishing with great friends, having a lot of laughs, and seeing some of the most beautiful scenery in all of North America. Yet. Oh, 